Ernie. Oh my gosh, really, Ernie? Right here? No, don't show her that that's what you do on camera. Oh my gosh. I'm over here talking about tender moments and you're over here doing your normal. Annie, please help. Please help. Please help, Annie. Don't. Oh my gosh. Shield your eyes. Shield your eyes. <laughs> but really. Oh my lord. No, baby, no. Back up, baby. Oh my gosh. No, no, don't lay there. Hi, Andy. Hi, little baby. How are you? Hi, Mama. It's just me. It's me by myself. I just came by to say hello. See how your dinner was. I was wondering if I sing with you, will you sing back? Since I know you like to hum, I thought I would do. Mm -hmm. so very much I can't wait to see you grow and to watch you be an amazing mama <laughs> oh my goodness little one Oh, she's so hungry, Annie. I just can't stop videoing, y'all. I can't stop. It is my newest addiction. <laughs> I can't stay out of this pasture. I'm trying to give them space. But you know. You know. You know, today was incredibly special. Waking up to a phone call from my mother who says, Jamie, I had the craziest dream. I dreamt that I woke up to a text from you saying that Annie had her baby. She goes, it was so real. I grabbed my phone, everything, and I just, it was so real. And I told my mother that, yeah, well, nobody believes that she's even pregnant. And even though I do, I just, I don't know. And a couple hours later, lo and behold, this is what we saw, y'all. The other significance, <laughs> hi baby girl. The other significance is that today is my grandma's birthday. My grandma Marilyn has been one of the most intuitive people ever. She knew I was pregnant with Xander before I did. She knew what I was having. And I said, what, what makes you what made you know? How did you know? She goes, you just were breathing different. I never knew what that meant. As crazy as it sounds. Until Annie. When I watched the way that she breathed. And I watched the way that she moved. And everything about her. And here we are. When no one said. That I was right for so long. Everyone said that I was crazy. Everybody said that Ernie couldn't do it. Oh no, Ernie did. And he did it well, right buddy? He's like, what? I knew I did it. I watched Annie spit at him. I watched Annie want to be first. I watched Annie change her demeanor all around when taking care of the little. She suddenly started to think about herself. Things that women struggle really hard with, I think. We get a bad reputation for being selfish and inward and high maintenance and all the above. But in reality, the majority of us put everybody 
everyone before us, even those that don't deserve it. But Annie has been a special, oh my gosh. She's been a special animal from the beginning. But this right here is like, just incredible. To watch her be a mom and to nurture this baby and talk to it. I have to tell you, it is one of the most special things that's ever happened at the sanctuary. Annie has been a granny Annie to every animal here. She has overseen them all. She has taken them under her wing. She has been gentle when necessary and ruthless when she needed to be too. Hey, Trudy. But what I love is watching her be a mom more than anything. And in a world where there are so many... Trudy, I'm trying to have a very special moment right here. I know, I know one forgot about you. In a world that is rough and ruthless and just relentless sometimes. Watching these moments, watching these tender little snippets in time. A baby born and just learning to discover all that the sanctuary has to offer. Watching an animal that we have seen be the protector to everyone and everything become a mom to her very own for the first time. Y'all, <laughs> that is what makes me cry. That is what makes me think that everything is worth it. Trudy, you're messing up my video here. They want some peace, baby. <laughs> it's so hard to believe that this little baby is not even a day old yet. And it's following his mama, eating, even letting me interact with it earlier. Just learning about the space that it's in and who to trust and who not to. And, <laughs> and who's going to be kind to it. She knows who dad is and who mom is, of course. And she'll get to know Lester and I as her human parents. And how crazy is it that we brought all the goats to Longhorn Lester's this summer due to a drought, due to the pastures just really needing to heal. The heat just was so hard on them. And at the same time, we were able to give Annie peace and quiet and time to relax before she had this baby. And now to be able to give birth to a baby in a setting where she's not worried about anybody ramming her or running all around or fighting for food. The pastures are healing beautifully with plenty of grass growth coming back in in so many places. The clover growing out back. All in time to meet this little baby. These are the moments, y'all. These are the tender, special moments that make all of those hard times have so much more weight and value. The shearing that takes 12 hours between the two alpacas. The stress in those moments of trying to make sure that they don't get hurt and that we don't get hurt. Yet knowing that so many people are like, why don't you hire someone and sedate them? Well, y'all, because what if that would have messed this up? We do a lot of things here, probably different than most farmers would. She... Annie, Ernie, oh my gosh, really Ernie? Right here, no, don't show her that that's what you do on camera. Oh my gosh. I'm over here talking about tender moments and you're over here doing your normal. Annie, please help, please help. Please help, Annie. Don't, oh my gosh. Shield your eyes. Shield your eyes. 
but really oh my lord no baby no back up baby oh my gosh no no don't lay there don't lay there that's the, that's the bathroom that dad just used sweet girl hi annie come on let's get up you're in the you're not in a good spot annie get her up annie come on come on little one you can't lay there don't lay there okay just trying to help you out annie Anyway, I just think that these are incredible times. With all the bad in the world and the, and the way that the world can be and all the mm -hmm. horrible things that people can say and do, it's really hard to find a bad thing to say about these moments. And I'll treasure them forever. And I can't wait to watch this little one grow.